If k is an integer such that k is between 56 and 66, what is the value of k? Statement number one tells us that if k were divided by 2, the remainder would be 1. That's another way of saying that k is an odd number. When even numbers are divided by 2, the remainder is 0. When odd numbers are divided by 2, the remainder is 1. So what are the possible odd numbers? It could be 57, 59, 61, 63, or 65. Those are all possible values of k between 56 and 66. We cannot distinguish which one of these k is. It could be any of these. So right now, with this information, statement number one is insufficient. Now forget statement number one, move on to statement number two. Statement number two tells us that if k plus one were divided by three, the remainder would be zero. So in other words, k plus one is a multiple of three. So, what are some multiples of 3 that are in that region? Well, 57 is a multiple of 3. Subtract 1, that would mean k would be 56, but that's not allowed, so that's not going to work. 60 is a multiple of 3, so k could be 59. 63 is a multiple of 3, so k could be 62. 66 is a multiple of 3, that means k could be 65. And then obviously above that, we're going to be above 66, so that will not work. But these three are three values that are between 56 and 66 that satisfy this constraint. We can't tell which one of it is, these are, so this statement by itself is also insufficient. Now if we combine the string constraints, we know that it has to be one of these three numbers and also an odd number. But unfortunately, there are two numbers that satisfy both constraints, both 59 and 65 are between 56 and 66. When divided by 2, they have a remainder of 1. And when we add 1 and divide by 3, the remainder is 0. So we don't know, given all this information, we are not able to distinguish whether k equals 59 or whether k equals 65. So even combined, the statements are insufficient. And the answer is E.